Have you put off having that picnic because of the fried chicken, hamburgers, hot dogs, and potato salad all ruining that new diet you just started? Well, today we're gonna show you how to have your picnic and eat it too. As if that's not enough, we head to a Mexican restaurant that's into fitness. Fitness whole taco in your mouth. Plus, Flippany keeps kids healthy and happy, and Camp's Fitness shows us how to get that six pack we've always wanted. All that and more today on SoFlo Health. Hello and welcome to SoFlo Health. The sun is out, the birds are singing, and it's a great day for a picnic. It's summer after all, and there are plenty of fruits and vegetables that are so delicious at the peak of their flavor that they'll make you forget all about those hot dogs and other popular picnic foods. I'm gonna dive into this, but first we head to Rocco's Tacos to show you how a traditional Mexican restaurant is helping you stick to your diet. Eating out at a restaurant can be difficult these days, especially if you have a specific diet or dietary needs. Maybe you've got some allergies or you chose to be on a specific diet for your health. Well, fortunately, a lot of restaurants have heard you and like Rocco's Tacos, they're making menus that are helpful to you. With Whole30 options, keto, low carb, you name it, they have it, let's head inside. This is Chef Adam of Rocco's Tacos. Chef, what are you making? We are going to make Rocco Simple Chicken. So what we have here is uh, two six ounce all natural breasts. We brine them for about six hours and then we're going to grill them to order. We serve it with uh, roasted sweet potatoes. Our roasted sweet potatoes, we just do a little bit of salt, pepper and olive oil. Nice. So now our chicken is glazed with a little bit of a uh, ancho and honey glaze, blood orange. We got guajillos in there, a little bit of achiote, a little chipotle for a little bit of spice. Now we garnish it with a half of a sliced avocado, and over the whole dish we squeeze a little bit of fresh lime juice. Nice. I'm gonna go take this outside. What do you say, uh, whip some nails up? Okay, All perfect. Right. See you in a bit. Thank you. I'm salivating because this all looks delicious. Chef, what is in front of me? This here is our traditional. It's actually pork carnitas with a little bit of a salsa brava, which is a fresh tomatillo salsa, roasted jalapenos, roasted garlic, and cilantro. Here we have our veggie enchiladas. It's two enchiladas made with corn tortillas dipped in our verde sauce, yellow rice, refried beans. Inside the veggies, we have some roasted cauliflower. We've got some chips and some veggies here. What are they gonna be for? Um, that's gonna be for our table side guacamole. Which is my favorite. So we start out with the guac. We use two Haas avocados. We we'll season with a little bit of salt. This is our Rocco spice, half a lime. These are our green chilies. Fire roasted green chilies. And now you said spicy, so we're gonna do a lot of jalapenos. Serve a little bit of tomato on top, and here's our Perfect. table side guacamole. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. I think you gotta get back to the kitchen, right? Yep. <laughs> get back in there. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you. Ordering out can be a mission, especially if you have a certain diet or allergies that are in your way. Rocco's Chicken is Whole30 friendly. Now, if you're gluten-free, you can ask for corn tortillas instead of wheat tortillas. Then if you want something traditional, but you don't want meats per se, they can make this same dish, uh, which is enchilada, uh, vegetarian, which this one is, uh, or they can make it vegan by leaving off the cheese. Say you're on a keto diet and you wanna have a nice snack, well, you can have that right here with a very keto-friendly guacamole, which we all know being keto, high in fat, low in carb. I'm gonna give this a taste because chef made it just for me. Yeah, that's real spicy, just like I like it. <laughs> And it's also good for you. I'm gonna find someone to help me eat all this food. In the meantime, see you later. Oh God. Chances are, if you're having a picnic, you brought a cooler like this one. And good on you, you should do that. So here are a couple of cooler quality of life tips. You could just fill this with ice, but then you know what happens. That ice melts and you have a wet sandwich. We recommend you get an ice pack like this one that keeps the sweat to a minimum, but still keeps everything cold. Now, say you don't wanna buy these or you just forgot. You can always take a sandwich bag like this one and fill it up with ice to contain all of this water from getting near your sandwich. If you really want to get your heart pumping, take a ride over to the Miami-Dade County Fairgrounds September 13th through 15th and experience Jurassic Quest. 
It's the largest and most realistic dinosaur exhibit in the country. We are always telling our viewers to get out of the house and get moving. Jurassic Quest will have you moving through the Cretaceous, Jurassic, and Triassic periods alongside true-to-size dinosaurs. Over 80 different dinos roaring, moving, and walking around. There's even a dinosaur petting zoo. Jurassic Quest has more than just exhibits too. Guests can dig up fossils and ride on the back of a 24-foot T-Rex or a spiky Carnotaurus. It's fun for all ages with mazes, slides, and bungee pulls for the kids, plus real fossils dating back over 60 million years in the Dinosaur Museum for fans of the real thing. Visit JurassicQuest.com to find out how to get 20% off admission. Get off of the couch and into Jurassic Quest. It's the best way to get your steps or your stomps in and have a great time. When we come back, how to protect your food from the summer heat and how to keep the bugs off of you and your lunch. Focusing on you, innovations in modern medicine from your team of cancer experts at Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center. Willie Washington is the first person in South Florida to receive HyperArc, a new cutting edge treatment for brain tumor patients at Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center. What HyperArc allows us to do is deliver a very high dose of very precise radiation to a brain tumor in a very fast amount of time. Willie was referred to radiation oncologist Dr. Eric Mellon after traditional surgery failed to stop the growth of his atypical meningioma. Because there's just one small area, we decided to do this stereotactic procedure, HyperArc, to that small nodule, and it will very likely shrink that nodule or at least stop that nodule from growing. With the push of a button and in one treatment, HyperArc can treat a brain tumor patient in a less invasive and faster way than Gamma Knife. You don't feel anything and there's usually no side effects. But it was a blessing to come in here because uh, I was just be sitting up like we're talking now and I just started trembling. With this advancement in radio surgery, even patients with multiple brain tumors can be treated in half an hour rather than half a day. Sylvester's Brain Tumor Initiative has the largest team of varied specialists in South Florida. With that level of specialization, you get that level of expertise that you just won't find at any other cancer center in South Florida. Whether you're having a healthy picnic or one with more traditional fare, in fact, especially if you're having one with more traditional fare like this pasta salad, potato salad, fried chicken, hamburgers, or hot dogs, you wanna make sure that these items don't stay out for more than an hour at a time. If they're out for up to an hour, you can put them back in your cooler to keep them good. If you're off having fun and you've forgotten they've been out for a couple hours, it's best just to throw them away. Before you start eating, don't forget to wash your hands. If there's no running water available, use hand sanitizer or disposable wipes to clean your hands before touching or serving food. Or you can do like I like to do, bring a jug of water with a bowl, fill up the bowl with some water and add a touch of dish soap. You can use this to cleanse your hands or even clean utensils. So I'm gonna wash up and you watch this. Recovery. When you hear that word, what do you think of? Maybe recovering from a great workout or from last night out. When it comes to workout recovery, topics like stretching, foam rolling, or some cool methods we've tried on SoFlo Health, such as cryotherapy and compression therapy. While all of those things are great, I find that we often overlook some of the simplest yet most important aspects of recovery, sleep, hydration, and nutrition. Recovering from your workouts doesn't only mean taking a day off from the gym. Give your body the love it deserves. If you aren't sleeping enough, you may be putting your recovery at risk. While you sleep, your body secretes hormones that are crucial for recovery and muscle growth. Lack of sleep can affect your mood and increase fatigue, which will drastically affect your psychological health and your ability to deal with physical stress to your body. Aim to get eight hours of sleep at night and make small changes for better sleep quality. Some helpful changes are keeping phones away from your bed and sleeping with an eye mask or blackout curtains to keep light out. Did you know that dehydration can drastically affect your recovery and performance in the gym? Not only is it hot outside, but exercise increases your need for water and electrolytes. Make sure you're hydrating your body and drinking plenty of fluids. I aim for a gallon of water a day. If you find that water is just too plain and boring, you can try detox water. I've shown you in the past. 
and play with some different ways to infuse your water for a little natural sweetness. Speaking of sweetness, I think it's time to shift gears and talk about my favorite topic, food. It is so crucial you eat enough to support your training. Not only do we need to eat enough, but we need to focus on nutrient-dense foods. We've recently touched on the importance of carbs, protein, pre- and post-workout foods, but I want to further emphasize their importance when it comes to recovering from your workouts. Protein is crucial to provide you with the amino acids you need to build and repair your muscles. Carbohydrates are vital to replenish your glycogen stores, which you use to fuel your workouts and recover. But as always, we don't only want to focus on the macronutrients. We must be mindful of the micronutrients as well. An easy way to do this is to focus on unprocessed whole foods that contain a lot of different vitamins and minerals. You work so hard on your fitness. It seems silly not to work just as hard, if not harder on your recovery. Now sit back, eat a healthy meal, hydrate, and sleep for eight hours, or six, and a nap, whatever works best for you. I have my cooler in the shade to help keep everything cooler longer, and that's really important when we're outside here in the sun when it's over 90 degrees, which it often is here in South Florida. If you have perishable foods that have meats, egg, or cheese in them, you're gonna wanna make sure that they stay out for no longer than one hour, and even less if they're in the direct sunlight, which you want to avoid. Now, here on SoFlo Health, we usually drink water. But if you have to have alcohol, stick with light beers and wine spritzers. They'll be more refreshing in the hot sun and they have less calories. No matter what you're doing, you need to make sure to stay hydrated out in the heat. And there's nothing better for that than water. So what are too small to see but can have the power to make you sick? Germs. They're in the air and they're in food. They're in the water and on your body and all the things you touch. Hi, my name is Kaselyn and I'm here to talk about Flippy and how they've changed my life for the better. I started Flippy in sixth grade because I wanted to join a good after school program. So some of the activities that we did include like different food demos, we did like hands-on food activities, different healthy uh, dishes, you know, how to do it at home, but your own little twist to it. And we also did like exercise activities. Before Flippy, I was, what they say, a couch potato. I didn't do anything. And then after Flippany, I'm always running up and down, always eating healthy. Flippany has changed my life for the better, inside and out. I want to be the change in other kids' lives. I want to see them grow and improve and be their best selves. Much like the activities I did, I do with the kids. I teach them why it is important to live a healthier lifestyle. As a teenager, I want to stress that it is important to live a healthy lifestyle. I know us kids may think like it's not important or it's not as like serious. But with age, you grow, it's important to take care of yourself. Because of flipping me, I, I eat a lot healthier, I exercise a lot more, my like mindset and lifestyle has changed. But I'm gonna introduce you to the lady that made it all happen. So what do you guys think you can do? Oh, hey! All right, I have to go. But work together. Well, Flippany, as Caseline mentioned, has a lot of things to offer the community. We do nutrition education, provide healthy meals every day while kids are out of school, and make sure that they have fun, engaging curriculum. When kids are eating nutritious foods, they can focus in school, and they have everything they need to become their best selves. We actually let them prepare healthy foods. It changes the dynamic and gives them the opportunity to get their hands dirty, and then they're more likely to eat more nutritious things because they've created it. We found, like, they'll start preparing healthy meals at home. All of that time when you're complaining that they're on their phone, they're not paying attention. When you allow them to cook with you, they'll come into the kitchen and they'll spend more of that quality time. And that's when the real magic happens. Another activity that we do is physical activity. They do organized, structured physical activity and also play games that require kids to take leadership roles, require some kids to follow, and really get the kids engaged as a group. Flippany's ultimate goal is to make sure that kids have all of the resources that they need to live a healthy life. So the most important thing is be healthy, be active, and you can accomplish anything in your life. Stay with us for the secret to six-pack abs and find out why Home Instead is a great solution when you need just a little help. Plus this week's health quiz, when SoFlo Health returns. We've kept our food safe, we're drinking plenty of fluids, and we have the makings for a perfect picnic. There's only one thing that can ruin it, bugs. 
Let's start with ants. They're fairly easy to keep at bay. The first thing is you can just keep your food in Tupperware, like these. That way, they can't get near your food and you only open it when you're ready to eat it. The other thing is vinegar. Ants hate vinegar. So all you have to do is put some vinegar on a sponge and wipe down your table or tablecloth with some vinegar. And that gets in the way of their senses so that they can't make it back to the rest of the colony to come get your food. Now, mosquitoes. Many commercial bug repellents use DEET, which is pretty harsh, but you can use essential oils like lavender oil, eucalyptus oil, and especially thyme oil. But don't ever apply an essential oil directly to your skin without diluting it first with something like coconut oil or almond oil. But I make things easy and buy one that's already mixed for me. This one's got lemon and eucalyptus, so I'm gonna keep these mosquitoes away. One thing we all need to face, if we're lucky, is growing older. And as we do, we'd all like to stay in our own comfortable homes as long as we can. That's why I'm here to visit with the company Home Instead Senior Care that's changing the face of aging by helping seniors do just that. Hi, Donna. <laughs> Hi, Hunter. What is Home Instead Senior Care? Home Instead Senior Care is what's called a non-medical in-home care company. We send caregivers into the home to help seniors stay independent and um, live out their last years in the family environment of their own home. And what does a caregiver do? Sometimes they do shopping, sometimes they do uh, light housekeeping, reminding seniors to take their medicine on time, remembering to drink, stay hydrated, get proper nutrition, and, but most importantly, have some fun. <laughs> of course, because they're people. They have to enjoy their life as well. Exactly. Are you looking for caregivers? You know, we're always looking for compassionate caregivers. So if you know someone that might be interested in a second career, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, we provide all the training. They really don't need any experience. And what makes Home Instead Senior Care different from others? A lot of companies are very task-based. Mm -hmm. Yes, the laundry needs to be done, the floor needs to be mopped, but we are more about building that relationship, building that trust, and becoming a trusted member of their family. We really take um, pride in matching our caregivers. For example, if we have a vet, we try to place them with someone that's a, that has some military experience, so they really do have a lot in common. Well, great, Diana, thank you very much. We're in Sue's home, so we're gonna go meet Sue right now. I was born in uh, Oak Park, Illinois, right outside of Chicago. I was a flight attendant for almost 30 years. Since my husband died, I, it's been lovely to have friends in the building. Melissa's a sweetheart, an absolute sweetheart. I love her. We've taken walks around the grounds. We've talked a lot. We get along very well. I have been with Sue for about a year. We like to go shopping, we call it our little adventures. Even if it's Publix, there's an adventure. I make the joke if someone says, do you work tomorrow? I said, I don't go to work, I'm visiting a friend. It's not work for me, it's fun. Something that I always do to make my clients happy is really listen to them because you're in their home. So you're always there for your client. It's their home, it's their way, and you gotta learn, and I learn from her. If I knew someone wanted to be a caregiver and do this as a profession, I'd say you have to have kindness, you have to have patience, and you have to look at it as it's not just a job. This is not something you just do for a paycheck. You do it because you love it. You do it to make friends, to make a family member, and to actually connect with someone. It's not a nursing home environment. It's their own home, and you have a better connection with your client. I wouldn't want it any other way. I love staying in my own home and it's nice to have help that comes in to help me when I need it. This is the best thing that, that's ever happened to me because I was alone and now I'm not, you know, so it's great. After lunch, maybe it's time to play some ball or even disc golf like we did last year. If you're gonna be outside, it is hot. So as we've been saying all episode long, make sure to stay hydrated. If you'll be in the sun, put on some sunscreen that's at least SPF 30 to protect your skin. Watch out for the younger ones and the older ones. They're the most susceptible to heat stroke. Do you know what else is hot? Rock hard abs, and it all starts with a core workout from Cant's Fitness. On SoFlo Health, I've learned two things about building a stomach that you've always wanted. One, thousands of crunches aren't gonna cut it on their own. And two, most of your abs are made in the kitchen. So the question remains, what do we do to get that six pack? Well, I'm here at Camps Fitness to find out. Sam, how do I get those abs? Well, here's the thing. You want abs or you want core? Two different things. They're not the same thing. Not the same thing. They okay. do different things for the body. 
We're gonna start with some core and then we'll move to some abs. How's that sound? All right, great. So what do I need? What so we're need gonna to start in a high plank, top right. of that push-up position. Wrists are gonna be in line with your shoulders. Abs, core is engaged. Don't let there be a little dip in your lower back. So think straight line. We're gonna actually drop down to our elbows. We're gonna change this up a little bit. We're gonna go onto that left forearm. You're gonna open up towards me. We're gonna go side okay. plank. So this is gonna work a little bit more of your obliques. Feet stacked on top of each other is gonna be the hardest. Okay. One in front of the other. So the top foot in front is gonna be a little bit easier. And then if you ever need to drop your bottom knee, uh -huh. you can always drop your bottom knee down to the ground and just hold from there. Right. Now from here. And that's for the core. That was predominantly core. Your core is involved in everything that you do. From lifting, from picking something off, off the ground, to grabbing a glass off your counter, whatever you gotta do, it's always involved. Abs, on the other hand, we're gonna flip over onto our back. Okay. Basic right. one that most people know, we're gonna start with the bicycle kick. Hands behind your ears. Knees are gonna come up to that tabletop position. Got so it. right elbow is gonna touch your left knee. Right elbow is gonna touch Left knee while your right leg shoots out. The slower you go, the more it's gonna burn right here. So you wanna keep your legs going straight out rather than straight up into the air. Like that. And you'll feel a little bit more. Slow, harder. Faster, you're gonna be able to pick it up, get that little sweat. So next one, we're gonna go leg straight out. We're just gonna do a little bit of a hand to toe tap. So you're gonna open up, right hand's gonna go overhead. Meet your toe right in the middle, oh, right so you're gonna touch right here. Good, little crunch there. Then switch, opposite side. Perfect. If you ever need to bend your knees a little bit, you can bend your knees. If you feel this in your lower back whatsoever, you might wanna change a different move or modify it in any way. But those two moves with the abs, with the core, that'll get your stomach on fire. Oof. Doing a few rounds of that, you know, coming into camps, doing it at home, you're always gonna help change all that. Yeah, and like you said, it's important to have a strong core because you use it in pretty much everything that you do. Uh, and then your abs, a little showy. Yeah, but we like that, we're ready for some it. show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam, I really appreciate it. Get it done at home. As you can hear, I'm, I'm breathing a little heavy, but not, not, not terribly so. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of work, like he said. It's you know, slower and controlled. You really feel that burn. If you pick up the pace, you can get that sweat in. Uh, so you can do this at home, or you can come here to camps and we'll have see some fun here. with Sam. <laughs> Here's a health quiz for you. Which of these will better hydrate you at a picnic or after a workout? A, water. B, watermelon. C, a sports drink. Or D, a light beer. The answer? after the break. Before the break, I asked you which of these will hydrate you better after a workout or at a picnic? The answer is B, watermelon. Reaching for a watermelon after finishing an intense workout may hydrate your body twice as effectively as a glass of water, claims a 2009 study by the researchers at the University of Aberdeen Medical School. This is so because water-rich fruits and vegetables also provide you with natural sugars, amino acids, mineral salts, and vitamins that are lost in exercise. The study found that this combination helps hydrate you more effectively than water or sports drinks. And if you pick beer, come on dude, what were you thinking? That's it for this week's episode of SoFlow Health. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this picnic and have one of your own. As always, you can watch previous episodes of SoFlow Health on SoFlowHealth.com and follow us using at SoFlow Health to share with us what you're doing to stay healthy. Now, until next week, I'm gonna clean up and eat some watermelon. Next week on SoFlow Health, we're finding out why a day at the beach is one of the healthiest things you can do. Plus, I get pulled in a million directions at Stretch Zone. Morgan shows us the basics of starting a workout program and more from Flippany.